Hey, hi, hello creatives. Welcome back or to my channel. My name is Lindsay and today we are doing a voiceover unboxing. I know it's not your traditional unboxing, but I just basically wanted to show you how I received this exploration journal from Crabtree and Evelyn. I did receive this uh, free of charge um, and I was able, they wanted to basically to kind of send it to a few people. There was 10 people that were selected, um, myself included, that they sent this to, to uh, put their adventures in and to, you know, test out the journal to see what we thought of it, what, um, what some of our spreads can look like, and they'll be featuring it on their channel. Uh, so I just wanted to show you what the packaging looked like that I got this in. Um, it was very cool. Uh, they got some tissue paper in that I'm definitely going to use in the journal later, later on. Um, uh, you'll also see that I've already actually opened this and put some sticky notes in, mainly because when they sent this to me, uh, they wanted some pictures and stuff uh, as a pretty quick turnaround, which I was fine with. Uh, they of course said no pressure um, whenever I felt this, like whenever I felt that I could give them back some pictures, which was, um, like I was able to do it in the weekend, but again, this is why you got the sticky notes. I was also very, very excited to receive this. It was, um, as I looked through it, you'll see here that you have like different languages to kind of say popular, popular words, goodbye, thank you, hello. Um, and then, yeah, I have a couple of pages kind of planned out on what I want them to look like, uh, and, you know, get lost in the right direction. Very cool journal, very cool way to plan future adventures. And I mean, it definitely works very well for, um, so what does that say? Adventure over things, stories over stuff. Um, again, this journal is... I would say more towards planning your adventure rather than like documenting a past adventure. However, it works great for documenting and I used it again for documenting past travels as we're not traveling anywhere right now. Um, but I do right away get started in the first, I think I do three pages in this video. Um, so the first page I'm going to do is actually for our honeymoon uh, to Aruba. So what I'm going to do with this journal is it's going to be um, my husband and I's adventure together is what I want to use it for. Um, so it'll be the first couple of pages there that I skipped past. Uh, one page is going to be um, for our story, the date we got engaged, like pictures from our engagement, when we got married, um, we got, uh, when we actually first started, sorry, when we first started dating, when we got engaged, when we got married and then the birth of our son. Uh, and then we're going to do one of those pages is going to be like our bucket list and then just a general overview of the places that we've been to. Uh, we haven't been many places, especially not out of Canada, but still we've seen some cool places. So as I mentioned, this is starting with Aruba. I'm going to add in the pictures that I went through just to kind of keep this sh shorter than, I believe this took a total of an hour and 20 minutes, 25 minutes, doesn't, yeah, hour and 25 minutes uh, to complete these three pages plus the unboxing. Uh, so I just kind of, I already had printed pictures similar to how I did my, uh, the, the travel journal I made for my girlfriend's 30th birthday. Uh, I printed the pictures just on like uh, fancier cardstock, I guess. I just went to Staples and had some pages printed um, different sizes and stuff so that they could kind of mat, they could kind of, a bunch of pictures could fit on uh, these pages. Um, it's about an A5 size journal. It does have a pen loop on it as well. It does have a pocket in the back. Here I'm just doing a little test of the stamp ink that I'm using to see if it bleeds through. 
does ghost a little bit, but it doesn't bother me because most of the time I'll just put pictures or something over top of it on the other side. So it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, so yeah, I definitely was super excited to receive this. It was my first, first thing that I've basically done a collab with, I guess and uh, super stoked. I, uh, the, a girlfriend was over when I first received it. I opened it, looked all through it. My husband came home, opened, looked all through it, and then I showed my in-laws and stuff as well. So I was pretty, pretty stoked to receive this. Definitely some cool pages inside. Um, so if you see where I have the, the days of the week there, I, it actually said like day one, day two, day three. So I just put over top of it um, the dates that we went to. So this is, so just to kind of give an overview of each day that we were there and what we kind of did. So I'll, I'm gonna leave some empty spaces a little bit so that I'm actually able to journal um, about each day and kind of different things that we did. So those little sticky things that I'm using, I actually got from the dollar store. Um, and I think they're like a dollar twenty-five, and you get like six hundred little tabbies or eight hundred little little tab things. And oh, I love using it. I mean, I hate the little blue pieces of garbage that it creates, but it's still a lot cleaner than using glue stick. And I feel personally, I feel like I love the tape runners, um, like those correction tape tape runner things, but. Um, they kind of get expensive sometimes or it just becomes a pain in the butt to have to always have refills because I always find that every time I actually sit down to go and do something like this they run out like so quickly but so that's why I like using these things and I bought so many of them because I know they were cheap so I definitely stocked up and I know I got some for my sister-in-law as well because she likes using them when she scrapbooks as well so I definitely do go buy them pretty quickly but I'm pretty sure they also sell them at Dollar Tree but I get it from a dollar store that's um, close to home everything for your dollar store and more or something anyways besides the point I like using it I do still use a glue stick why I use a glue stick versus the dots and then the dots versus the glue stick, I don't know. It's just kind of whatever's close to me, whatever I feel like using, I'll use that one. But here, so here I am using these little, these little skinny washi tapes that I actually got from an AliExpress order that I want to do like a stationary haul for, but I've been waiting since the end of April to have all of this AliExpress stuff to come in the mail and there's still a handful of things that has not come in yet, but I think I'm just gonna do the haul even though everything hasn't come in because I do have quite a bit that has come in, um, but because I ordered from so many different stores and during COVID and um, I don't know, just from China to Canada, it just takes a decade. So um, I'm sure when we move out next year, I'm still going to be receiving these at the, my in-laws are still going to receive some, some stuff from China. But anyways, um, so here we're going to the next page. This is, and again, it says day one, day two, day three, I think. Um, but again, I'm covering it over so that it can show the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or no, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, and, and then on the bottom here where I've put the strips of the craft paper, you'll see that I write um, for future activities, things that we went there. So we went to Aruba for our honeymoon and we did, um, we did all-inclusive. And I, the next time we go, because Aruba is just such a wonderful, happy, beautiful place. Um, but because we did all inclusive, we didn't really get to go to like restaurants that we like wanted to go to once we got there and wanted to try out because it just felt like we were wasting money because we already essentially paid for the all inclusive. Um, and then there were certain things that we didn't do that we wanted to do, or at least that I found after that we should have done and didn't. Um, so I'm putting here for our next visit, certain activities and foods um, that we want to try or restaurants that we want to go to the next time we go. 
because I am 100% going to go to Aruba again. And again, a very beautiful island. Um, we stayed at the, ooh, um, the Marriott? The, no, Renaissance. The Renaissance. We stayed at the Renaissance and they have a friend, uh, family only side and they have adult only side. And we stayed on the adult only side, but me and my husband, because I guess we did so much during the day or were in the sun all day and are pretty lame, I guess, but we didn't like, they only had a pool on the adult side. They, um, we didn't really go to the bar to then just get drunk in the bar in like our hotel lobby. So, um, the one night we actually went over to the family side and like stayed outside and we went by the ocean and we watched the sunset which you'll see there is on Friday you'll see that sunset picture is actually from the family side and there wasn't even very many kids there I mean not enough to bother me at least because they weren't like loud or anything and I mean um, so definitely the next time we go we're gonna stay on the family side and we definitely want to stay at the Renaissance again because they have um, they're the only hotel there that has a private island that you're actually only able to access if you're staying at that hotel. If you're not staying at that hotel and you want to access the private island, you have to pay like a hundred or $150 a day. Um, no, not a day. Sorry. You have to pay a hundred. I think it was a hundred dollars at the time that we went in 2017, um, per person to go to the, um, private island. So definitely that private island, it had Flamingo Island on, or Flamingo Beach on there. And oh, what a, what a beautiful place. Uh, so here we're actually starting, um, I'm starting the last pages. So the other pages that I did are like a breakdown of each day, what we did on each day. And then here are, there's three pages like this. And I'm going to do a breakdown of the activities we did on each day. Um, so on the right hand side, I'm going to journal about the two days. So the top, what I've separated here with the washi tape, the top day, I believe is like the top is one day, the bottom is a different day, and then I'm going to journal about it. Uh, so I also like to keep a lot of mementos slash I'm kind of like a sentimental hoarder. So I uh, keep everything. So I'm pretty sure this is our um, luggage tags that I kept and now I'm putting inside. So that's pretty cool. And then I also kept our boarding passes from Toronto to Aruba. So this is what you're seeing. And I also kept the receipt. Again, sentimental little memento hoarder I am. So I am using the receipt to use it as like a pocket and then I'm going to put the, the things inside. Um, so I'm not going to actually journal here because I was already working on it for so long and I wanted to go to bed because I can only do this stuff when my son is sleeping. Um, so basically once I put these in, it's kind of done. I, oh, I do, I do actually glue them down or Oh, here a glue stick, and then I think I move on to my little tabbies. Um, but yeah, this is this is it for the video. So I want to thank so much to Crabtree and Evelyn for sending me this journal. I cannot wait for it to be completely filled out. Um, I'm going to. I've also done a few spreads that I did not include here, but I want to thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all of the things. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.